The research of modern-day analog computing is on the rise as tech companies are searching for energy-efficient alternatives to their computers. This is being primarily researched for artificial intelligence-related solutions that consume massive amounts of energy when running. Wait a minute. Let's first learn about what analog computing even is. For that, let's learn about what analog means. The Merriam-Webster defines analog as something that is similar or comparable to something else, either in general or in some specific detail. In this sense, analog computers are machines that are physically designed to model certain relationships. The photos of those big bulky ancient computers that once roamed with dinosaurs? Yeah, those ones. Those computers were known for their big tubes and small little dials to adjust their functions. Because they are literally designed to perform a certain function, analog computers are incredibly fast at what they do. So you might be asking, how do they compare to digital computers? Well for starters, digital computers are binary. So they use either 0 or 1 to store and process data. Analog computers use sign functions to represent data. So they use any number between 0 and 1. Let me use an analogy to better describe what I want to say. Let's say that you and I live across the street from each other. We communicate to each other at night by using flashlights. If we wanted to be digital, we would turn the flashlight on and off to communicate in, say, Morse code. However, if we wanted to be analog, we would communicate by precisely controlling the flashlight's intensity. While it would be hard for humans to understand analog data, computers are incredibly fast at processing this kind of data. Now, there are some cons that come with analog computers that are important to highlight. Believe it or not, analog computers are simply not as accurate as digital computers. Let's go back to our flashlight example. Precisely controlling the intensity of a flashlight is subject to many other environmental factors such as ambient light or the weather, etc. The same thing applies for analog computers. There are many factors that can throw off the accuracy of an analog computer and on top of this, there's no way for the computer to fix the error. See, in digital computing, you can implement something called a checksum, which is used to identify errors when transmitting and receiving data. A checksum is an algorithm which basically uses all the data points in the file and generates some sort of unique number that is stamped onto the data packet. If the receiving end notices that the checksum that represents the data packet is different from what it found the checksum to be, the receiving end knows that the data is corrupt. With analog computers, this is incredibly complex because each bit of data can have an infinite possibility of values. This is one of the reasons why digital computers have been adopted as mainstream as opposed to analog computers. Basically, my point is that both analog computers and digital computers have their benefits and it would be ideal if we could somehow find a way to combine these different types of computers into some sort of hybrid computer. A company known as Mythic does exactly this. Mythic launched a processor named M1076 AMP, which is a hybrid between analog and digital computers. This is groundbreaking news because Mythic reports that its new processor can process higher level AI applications at one tenth the energy requirement. Think about it this way, AI is probabilistic which means that its decisions are based on the probability of several different factors at once. While traditional computing is deterministic, which is more binary in nature with definitive paths and execution. Deterministic computing is more like if this, then that, while probabilistic programming is more analog in nature and its decisions in programming are more based on the different shades of gray between white and black, instead of being just black and white, like deterministic program. Mythic uses this fact to create a processor that combines the benefits of both analog and digital computing while also running on a fraction of the power. So what do you think? Do you think that analog computing is the future? Or do you think that digital computing still has way more potential? Let me know in the comments below. <laughs>